Yeah. Um, I, you know, I don't know. I guess because – but this goes into being a high-level athlete, right? I mean, you know, people may scoff at this and say, well, you know, you train with intention. You try to set all these goals. You get inside your head. But you have to, in my opinion – correct me if I'm wrong – but you have to have – and maybe I break things down too much just in life in general, and maybe that's an issue of mine that I need to work on. But you have to kind of break everything down and just be able to consolidate each goal and each training method, whatever you're doing with hitting, throwing, it doesn't really matter, and understand why you're actually doing it. Have a purpose to what you're doing, right? And and then, you know, trying to get better at that right. certain thing. Yeah. And that's going to be the fine line between how do you train with intention, but how do you not cross the line between overanalyzing every little thing, right? You don't want to all of a sudden get in a position where, um, you know, one of the, one of the ways I talked about training with intention during hitting, let's say is, is not, um, not concerning yourself with quantity over quality, right? Not being like, all right, we're going to take a hundred swings today. It's like, no, we're going to take a few high quality swings. We're going to take three to five swings, take a step out and reset but you don't want it to be three to five swings. Then it's like, all right, let's talk about exactly what you did on every single swing. You do want the athlete to be able to naturally flow through their swing, have some athletic ability, but you also don't want to just say, okay, we're taking 25 swings in a row because come swing 10, how much intention are they actually have left? Right. It takes a lot of focus. It takes a lot of effort, a lot of brain power to be like, okay, this one, this pitch, high focus, high focus, reset, you know, um, there's no way you could have that same focus on 25 pitches in a row. I mean, Albert Pujols once said that, right? You'd rather take 100 quality swings than 400, you know, whatever, really bad swings. I mean, it's, you know, and athletes, I think, sometimes get into that loop, especially when they, you know, they're in high school, college, they just swing, 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 mm -hmm. you know, and, and, you know, Ted Williams, there's one thing I, I love, I love Ted Williams. I agree with pretty much everything that he has said, everything that he has taught in the past and, and everything that he's professed about hitting. There's one thing I don't agree with. And again, the guy who had 400, so, you know, Bear with me on this, but I don't agree with the notion of, well, I'm going to hit till my hands bleed. Mm. Well, that's that's fine, but they better be really good swings, and they still be, better still be really good quality swings when your hands are indeed bleeding. Yeah, you know what? Maybe that that worked for him, let's say. But, you know, you think well, of it when you're – a veteran too, so maybe – Yeah, I yeah, right. That, that might just be a mentality <laughs> thing. You think about when you're younger too, like there is a certain time like – when kids are younger where it's like, yeah, let's go play wiffle ball and let's take as many swings as you want. And like, yeah. you don't have to worry about intention necessarily then like you're trying to see how that athlete self organizes and they're just trying to work on natural hand eye coordination at that point. But, you know, as an athlete that gets older and, and you'll start to see it too. You'll start to see, especially in a team setting, I'll notice right away, girls will stop making eye contact. They'll start fidgeting. They'll just like, they'll take a really good swing and then they'll take a really poor swing and they have the same reaction to both because they don't really know why one happened or the other happened. They just, they, the the practice is just happening to them instead of them dictating how they're uh, making that practice uh, useful for them, 